the glory of the Lord constantly enlarges all over the earth and tonight we are about to hear the testimonies of those who have truly witnessed the glory of the Lord we begin with the online testimonies and we go on to take the live testifiers the first testimony is from brother Joseph Ibuku from the United States of America he was diagnosed with glaucoma and his eyes degenerated badly he was scheduled for a surgery and given a 10 percent chance of success as he could go blind totally he wrote to daddy geo and he got a reply that it will end in testimony the surgery was done and to the glory of god his sight has greatly improved let somebody shout hallelujah the next testimony is from brother bamidele funto from the united kingdom he had serious pains on his ankle limiting his ability to walk the doctor told him it was possibly gout his parents prayed on the ankle using the clothes prayed on by our daddy in the Lord during the August 2023 convention. Since then, he stopped experiencing the pain. Praise the Lord. The next testimony is from Brother Daniel Maluk from South Sudan. He joined the August 2023 convention online and received a word of knowledge spoken through our father in the Lord, Daddy Gio, that be ready for hard work because I am about to open many doors. He keyed into this and cried to God shortly after he got an offer from an organization he interviewed with a month before and was given a contract beyond his expectation. Praise the Lord. Sister Faith Obalim from South Sudan joined the September Holy Ghost service online and keyed into the special prayers for children. She had a difficult pregnancy and prayed fervently. A few hours later, she delivered a baby boy without any struggle. If our applause will not be better, I think it should improve when I give you this information. That she had carried that baby for 10 months and 2 weeks. Who did it? The next testimony is from Sister Charity Ogogoye from Canada. She asked God to bless her family with a son and sent a prayer request to Daddy Gio in 2021. She keyed into a word of knowledge that Daddy spoke during the February 2022 Holy Ghost service that God will add sweetness to her life. God answered and added not only one sweetness to her family, but two. The Lord blessed her family with a set of two boys, twins, in December 2022. God also blessed her family with a house, a husband, a new job, and her mother access to visit them in Canada. Praise the Lord. The next testimony is from Sister Dar Damilola Moturayo Shodimu from the United Kingdom. She attended the September 2022 Holy Ghost service for the first time, trusting God for the fruit of the womb. God answered her family's prayers, despite several issues during the pregnancy, continuous bleeding, and severe preeclampsia with her blood pressure reaching 200. Her baby was delivered via emergency and placed in the NICU. To the glory of God, he perfected it all, and she went home healthy and with a healthy baby boy. The final online testimony is from Sister Ayola from the United States of America. 
her three-year-old daughter was placed on blood pressure medication to help her urinate properly so the water does not store and block her lungs. She attended the Festival of Life program in Jerusalem and God intervened in her issues. Today, to the glory of God, her daughter can use the toilet conveniently without any medication. Praise the Lord. We will now take the live testifiers. Somebody praise the Lord. Somebody praise the Lord. Emi Oba Adeyika Michael Ademuyiwa from Elisha. Only learning of Elisha Jisha. Mo wa du pa lowo Olorun fun igbala okan mi mo de wa du pa wipe awon youth tan se convention leni tan ti be lati ojo bi meta awon lo invite mi ni ilu ibi ti mo wa wipe awon fe se program won la awon fe se program mo ni ko si problem pe aye gba aye gba won mo de mu won lonu hall mo ka ga fun won bi pe kan wa si program pe mi gan fe darapo mo fe mo olorun true won now bas e bere program ye emi na lo mo wa be si lo church ni church redeem center ishona pastor antoni adeboye lo wa nbe bi mo se be si lo church ni yen issues ti mo tin ba fa lati bi odun mi meta lenu osu meta merin ti mo join won yi o ti lo o o ti lo o e ba mi yin oluwa logo let somebody shout hallelujah the testimony of His Majesty, the King from Elisha, goes thus. The youths of this church around Elisha invited him to a program, and he joined the program. In the course of the program, they invited him to Jesus, and he gave his life to Jesus. In the course of that, he spent about three, four months in the church, and before you know it, the problem that he had for long, the Lord solved it. He had his miracle. He had his miracle. Shout hallelujah. He has joined the redeemed Christian Church of God at Ishona in Elisha. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Remain blessed. Praise the Lord. My name is Oyenike Anifowoshe. I'm here to fulfill my vow to the Lord. I had to wait five years after having my first child before having my second child. There were five years of painful miscarriages, stillbirths, going from general to private hospital, using different drugs. At a point, I just stopped using any drug. And after I stopped using drugs, I conceived. And I told God that, Father, if you would help me carry this pregnancy to term, I will come to testify before the people of God. People of God, this is my testimony. God did it for me. I am here to say thank you to God and to dedicate for La Shewa. Okwemikosi Anifowoshe. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. My name is Praise Maidion Toibon. Sometime last year. I began to feel 
a growth and enlargement at the backside of my head, and it was painful, negatively and painfully. At the point, I couldn't turn my neck like this or like that or lie straight on the back. And I began to seek God's solution to it. During the last Holy Ghost service, and we prayed, the anointing service, something kicked at the back of that head. Before I knew it, I began to feel a relief, a relief, a relief. Then on the, on the eighth of last month, during my midnight program, I had a voice that I should declare that day, the 9th of September, a day of waiting on the Lord for special whatever information. I, I, I felt good about it. And so I decided I'm going to leave a note on the dining table that nothing should be uh, inclusive for me on that dining table until sunset. But somewhere along the line, I felt, okay, let me leave it. It was around 3 a.m. when I woke up. By the time I woke up, it was about 7. The table was set for me. I felt bad that this was a disobedient to the instruction of the Holy Spirit. I had to begin with apology to the Holy Spirit. Eventually, a, an agenda was presented. As you search myself, any form of anger, any form of bitterness, any form of uh, 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 grudges or unforgiveness should be let go immediately, which I did. After that, I will say I will also forgive people that have offended, which I did. At the end of the day, the pain, everything, the growth, the negative enlargement at the side of my back went away. I could turn my head all over that day without any medication. Please join me to give praise, thanksgiving to our Father. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. My name is Olatuji Abiola, and here is the daughter of God, Olatuji Hallelujah. I'm from Redeemed Christian Church of God, Youth Province 3. I want to appreciate Almighty God that today this daughter of God is alive. Uh, during youth convention last year, I was in auditorium with my wife who were working, and we just received a call that our daughter had fire accident. And before we knew it, she was rushed down to Earth Center. She was born from below the breast to knee, and it was much. So, but to the glory of God, from Redeemer Earth Center to Babcock University Hospital, she spent numbers of months there. They performed surgery on her. They said it's 50 50 chance, but to the glory of God, it was perfectly done. Today, she can walk perfectly. She's no longer bending like then. And we give glory to Almighty God. We appreciate God for the prayer of brethren, the support from our leaders in youth body and youth provincy. Glory to Jesus. Praise the Lord. We are brother and sister Ojomu from Ogun 4. We thank God for the salvation of our souls. We've come to return all the glory back to God for the marvelous thing he has done. In 2020, we got married 2005, and we've been waiting, trusting, going from one hospital to the other to no avail. In 2021, that the GO mentioned that the next convention is titled Perfect Jubilee. Immediately he said that something leaped within us that in fact this perfect jubilee will not pass us by. And to confirm that God gave us a scripture in the Bible that says the snare is broken and we've escaped. That same year I took him to the glory of God. And the week after the perfect jubilee convention the lord gave us our perfect jubilee oluwa dun sin etin yeni ojomu praise the lord
Let somebody shout hallelujah. My name is Adekoya Faith Olubukola. I'm from Lagos. I'm here to testify unto the glory of the Lord for the word of God that the Lord sent through Adadi to deliver me from death and from stroke. In 2021, it was during the lockdown, precisely February 5th on Saturday in the evening, the Dove Television was broadcasting Daddy's past message. Daddy was talking on Jesus, the ever rainy champion. It was even the emphasizing that Muhammad Ali was a, was a lost champion. He was a loser of, because he was a former champion. But Jesus was the ever, is the ever reigning champion. So I took on the word. I was meditating on it. Suddenly, I became weak. I, lost, I started losing strength. My, my feet were shaking. My vision was becoming dim. Then they quickly rushed me to the hospital. The doctor quickly uh, uh, hospitalized me. Thank God I was saved. I, was, I came back safely because doctor said I would have died if not of the mercy of the Lord. After I was discharged from the hospital, I discovered that my two legs, I could not walk. And I said, I said Lord, my daddy, the Lord, said that Jesus is the ever any champion. How come? You, you must win this battle for me. Oh. Then I continued to go for medication and different tests were conducted. But the desired result was I would be sitting down at home and be crying like a baby when everybody's going out. Then I said, Holy Spirit, what should I do? My daddy has said you are the ever in champion. Then the Holy Spirit said I should come to the camp. Brethren, it was still no virtual lockdown. No program in the camp. As I obeyed to the Holy Spirit in May, I came to the camp. As I stepped my feet on the campground, Holy Spirit did the marvelous thing. I received my leg back. I can walk. I am not be strong. To the glory of God, to the grace of that Gio. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Let the church shout hallelujah. We are AP and AP Mrs. Oluremi Onokoya. We want to give all the glory to God who has brought us this far. And we want to thank him for the salvation of our soul and for helping us. We got married October 12, 20, 2002. And since then, we've been trusting God for the fruit of the womb. We initially thought we want to uh, rest a bit before we started having children. But years came, we started praying, mountain to mountain. God said, they will come, love your wife. I told her, God said, I should love you. No wahala. But we started praying and praying until 20, 2000. And 20 during the lockdown, all the teaching that Daddy uh, did, we will we, we call all our neighbors, our own DJ, and um, one that Daddy taught us that after the lockdown, what do we do? And he started explaining some things, and he said we should try new things. He struck me, and I told my wife, I said we've not tried IVF, let's try. She said no, she doesn't want to do IVF. Later on, she came to me and said, let's try. So we started. Uh, the financial aspect, making money to go through it. To cut the long story short, 2022 September, we were built to go for the IVF, and I told her that I will come to the camp and go and pray at the uh, Open Heavens Gallery. When I got there, immediately I entered Momidio's room to pray. I just heard God said, I have done it. I didn't believe. I moved on to daddy's room and knelt down again, the same thing, he said, I have done it. That month, we went for the implant and we got positive results. We want to thank God, three implants were done. How we got four, nobody knew. By 10th week, God, the, doc, the consultant called us and said, ah, I'm seeing another head here. 
all throughout the pregnancy. Nobody knew her sex. Nobody could determine either she's a male or a female. But we kept trusting God and praying. God said, e keri ninu ino. She's there to protect the other ones. And we give God the glory that made it seamless all throughout. She was very strong. By week 26, she was still going to work. She said, you want to go to work. We want to give all the glory to God that did it for us and to thank our daddy in the Lord, our very coach. Each time we come to the camp, we always take something home. We want to thank God. And God gave us two boys, two girls. The boys are Daniel. The boys are Daniel and David. The girls are Daniela and Deborah. We give all the glory to God. Praise the Lord. I will not take these testimonies for granted. Everything the Lord has done that I have heard I will not take it for granted. I will celebrate the faithfulness of the Lord. I will rejoice for the glory of the Lord has been brought to bear before me. I will not casualize the move of God. I will not take these testimonies for granted. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Our God is indeed faithful. If you know your turn to give a testimony has come. And you will not leave this service without having your own testimony. Show your neighbor that you are ready. Show your neighbor that you are ready. Make a joyful noise of hallelujah. Amen. Our God is truly, truly, truly wonderful. Give the Lord Jesus another round of applause.